Hey guys, Alex Lidlum here from Snorkel Venture with a new video all about what it's like on one of our guide-led group snorkel safaris. So, what should you expect from one of our guide-led group snorkel safaris? Well, we have a ton of different locations all over the world, which include destinations all over Indonesia, the South Pacific, Cuba, Mexico, and more on the way. Along with that, some of our tours will be hosted by fantastic resorts, while others will be on liverboards. And in a few cases, these tours will include both a liverboard tour and a resort tour. Regardless of whether it's a liverboard hosting us or a resort hosting us, the trips will, for the most part, run the same. The basic idea behind the tours, though, is for a guide or guides, depending on the size of the group, to escort the guests for the duration of the tour and assist with any sort of problems that arise. We'll be there in the water with you, on the boats, uh, at the meals, at the airports, in the cars. We're there to make sure everything runs smoothly. And if there is, a, and if there is an issue, we're the ones that deal with it, leaving you stress-free and just being able to concentrate on the tour. Let's talk real quick about the first day of the tour and where we're all going to meet. The actual meeting spot can vary depending on the tour. On some tours we'll meet on the vessel or at the resort, while on other tours we will meet at the airport hotel that we will all be staying at before jetting off to our ultimate snorkel destination. Prior to the trip you will be given a detailed description of when and where to meet and how to arrive to that destination. Regardless of the venue though, before the tour starts, we will all have a chance to meet together over a big meal. The guides will give you a full briefing on what to expect from not only us, but what to expect from the tour itself. Once we've arrived at our ultimate destination, the routine of snorkel, eat, sleep begins. One of the coolest things guests seem to find about these tours is that it caters specifically to snorkelers. For the liveaboard tours, we charter the entire boat, so it's only us on the boat. This also holds true for the majority of the resorts we go to as well. There will be a few larger resorts like Komodo Resort or Wakatobi, where there will most certainly be some divers around. They will be doing their own thing and we will be doing our own thing. There was, these resorts always make sure that we have our own large boat or boats reserved just for us, for snorkelers as well as our own snorkel guides who will remain with us for the duration of that portion of the trip. The actual snorkeling sites that we will be selecting will be based specifically on snorkeling needs. There will be no deep pinnacles with ripping currents. Everything that we're going to be doing is going to be focused on snorkeling, so you can expect shallow reefs, and if there's any sort of current, we're just going to be going along with it. If, there's, if it happens to be a windy day, we will find protection of that wind so that we don't have any chop on the surface. You can expect the day-to-day -day itinerary to run the same for just about all of our tours. We'll wake up, we'll have a nice breakfast and coffee, and then usually around eight or nine o'clock, we'll head out for our first snorkel session, which will generally consist of two snorkels. Each session will be about an hour long, followed by a surface interval, anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes, depending on how eager people are to get back in the water. These surface intervals are a great time to grab a snack. There'll always be little fruits and cookies and stuff like that available on board, as well as coffee, tea, and water. We'll then jump in for another snorkel, about another hour. Following that, we'll head back to the resort for lunch and usually a siesta. For those of you who are just chomping out the bit to get back out, there's always the house reef. And then on a lot of the places we go, they will have kayaks or paddle boards available as well. After lunch, we'll usually head out again around two o'clock for another one hour snorkel session, after which we'll come back to the resort again. Some people will jump back in the water for either a late afternoon sunset snorkel session. Some will wait a little bit and do a night snorkel. Others will convene around the bar and relive that day's events. Other people will get a, a massage when there's a masseuse available, which is at just about all the places we go to. Other people's again will might jump on a paddleboard or kayak and some will just chill. Then of course, after all the activities, there will be dinner um, and then people usually head off to bed pretty quick because the days are full. If it is a liveaboard tour, the day to day will run similar but there are some differences as the boat does move between sites um, when we're not in the water. So we'll wake up, we'll have breakfast, and then we'll just either jump from the back of the boat or load up into one of the dinghies, which will then ferry us the short distance 
to the site. After each snorkel, we'll come back to the mother mothership for our snacks and drinks and massages and all this other sort of stuff. Easy peasy. Guys, and of course, if you don't want to snorkel every single snorkel session of every day, that's absolutely fine. These are snorkeling tours, so we do try to put as much snorkeling as possible in it. We're doing anywhere from two to four snorkels a day, and some of these trips can be uh, 16 days long. So that's a lot of snorkeling. The liverboards or the resorts have fantastic um, amenities, so you can indulge in them, you can get massages, you can go paddle boarding, you can go kayaking, you can just nap. Uh, you're on holiday, so don't feel like you need to come out for every single snorkel session if you don't want to. Enjoy the resorts and the boats. Safety is something we've put a lot of thought and consideration into. All of our guides have come from a background in diving, so we've taken those safety protocols for diving and then just shaped them for snorkeling. All of our guides have been certified and trained in first aid, as and you can expect the same from all of the guides at either the liveaboards or the resorts. Things like emergency oxygen, life jackets, and any other sort of first aid protocol will be explained in the beginning of the trip or pointed out. Also, before each snorkel session, there will be a briefing. One of the guides will draw a map or they will have a map printed out and we will show you what the reefs look like so you know what to expect when you're in the water from a safety standpoint. If there's any current, we will let you know. And again, with current, if there's any, we always just drift with it. In short, the trips are an absolute blast. Outside of the exceptional snorkeling, it's just so much fun to mix with such a passionate and excited group of like-minded people. One of the highlights for me as a guide is watching how awkward and apprehensive people can be in that first day. But to watch that melt away as soon as they start mixing with the other guests and they discover that common uh, snorkeling interest that they all share, whether it be the adventure of it all and being on the water and traveling, or that undying goal of identifying every single fish that they've seen throughout that trip. Not to sound overly cheesy, but it is fun knowing that we did all come on these tours as strangers, but then leave as snorkel friends. All right guys, so I think that just about does it. If I've missed anything or I haven't answered a question that you wanted answering, please reach out to us and send us an email. We're more than happy to get back to you. Um, yeah, so I hope to see you all on an upcoming tour.